Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Thomas Peterson versus Jamal Pogues. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence Jamal Pogues to beat Thomas Peterson. Another dog. So I'm going Thomas P that's not Thomas. I'm going Jamal Pogues, low confidence to beat Thomas Peterson. Jamal Pogues is the dog, and I think he'll probably be the dog by the fight night unless people ask to start watching tape and like, oh, I have no reason why this guy was a dog. Maybe because we come off a loss. Maybe we don't respect the heavyweight division. We just think McParkin is a scrub. And um, we didn't, you, could you lose this guy? Remember, you lose the heavyweight, you're a scrub or something. But no, no. Maybe that's why. But Or the fact that Thomas Peterson is coming in with a little bit of momentum or something. Maybe. Or maybe this, maybe that. But um, yeah, I think Jamal Pogues is the better overall fighter, to be honest. Um, I feel like um, Thomas Peterson really hasn't fought res any respectable competition yet. I feel like Pogues has had the guy's feet wet. He won his contender series fight. He has had some fights in the UFC. And stylistically wise, I feel like he matched up well. They both actually have solid wrestling backgrounds. Maybe you could say Chandler. I mean, I said Chandler. Maybe you could say Thomas Peterson is the better wrestler, and I wouldn't be mad at you or that. I wouldn't disagree with you. I wouldn't even really care to disagree or even debate that. But I feel like Pogues is solid enough in the wrestling department to be able to, you know, make, you know, solid enough in the wrestling department and grappling department to make Peterson have to work. And Pogues is a, definitely the clear, more well rounded striker between the two or the more developed striker. If anything, I was like watching some of the tennis series fights, expecting to wrestle. And I saw him like striking a lot more in some of these fights. I'm like, he's not bad. I will, you know, you know, picking him. I was like, I want you to just go out there and wrestle, make it an easy fight. But his strike is not bad. Like, he looked pretty solid there. And I said, you know, not to say he like world caliber, like, you know, fighting for no world titles or, you know, future champion type material, but like he could hold your own in, in the UFC. That's what I would say it's, as far as the striking. Peter Sand really hasn't shown me that yet, and also he hasn't really shown me the ability to look good through three rounds. He's typically when we look at even look at his record. No, I think I think he may have like one split decision victory over a mediocre opponent, and I think a decision law. No, he got stopped in third round by Walter Cortez Acosta, whose wrestling defense ain't all that great either. So the fact that Walter Cortez Acosta was able to extend you to the third round and put you out another thing, so. Yeah, I think, uh, not to say that World Cortez is, is a bad fighter, I'm just saying his wrestling not that, defense is not that great, is what I'm saying. So you're such a great wrestler, you should have had, you know, or such a great fighter, you would have been able to done better than that. But, um, yeah, simply as I could put it, I feel like Pogues has wrestling to address um, Peterson wrestling, if not our wrestling, but I would say just enough to address it. I think um, Peter, I, I think um, Pogues has the more experience. I think Pogues is the better striker, and I think Pogues is the better fighter over the round. So I feel like he can address the wrestling, make Peterson have to work a lot. I feel like he got strike Peterson, send him through the deep rounds, outwork him, drown him, and beat him in the decision victory. So in this one, I got Jamal Pogues via decision. 